Welcome back. After recording is complete, the test wizard reappears in the configuring the test case step. The test wizard is the easiest way to start with stress stimulus because it walks you through the steps of setting up and running the test. Once you get familiar with stress stimulus, you can bypass the wizard to use many additional performance testing options. In our test, we will simulate multiple virtual users accessing the eStore website and analyze how this will impact its performance and user experience. From the Configure Test Case step, click Next to see the list of hosts targeted in our test scenario. Here, you can delete requests to unnecessary hosts such as Google Analytics. I only want to test one server, so I'll remove all other hosts. In the next step, you will see the list of content types requested during the recording. You may want to delete requests to resources that have little impact on performance. I will delete all image and style sheet requests. Let's move to the next step to start verifying the test case. Stress Stimulus will replay the test case once with one virtual user to check for errors. This is necessary to make sure the load test results will be accurate. Click Next to start the verify process. Verify completed successfully. If Verify discovers any errors in your test case, watch the video explaining how to resolve errors. Now we are ready to configure a load test. Click Next to select the load pattern. You can choose a steady load, which emulates a constant number of virtual users, or step load, which ramps up the users. I'll choose a step load starting with one users and increasing by one every three seconds until it reaches 50. Click Next to see the test duration. Select Test Completion Criteria from the available three options, number of iterations, certain run duration time, or reaching the maximum users. I'll choose reaching the maximum users. After the completion condition will be reached, Stress Stimulus can do one of three things. Wait until all pending responses are received. Stop the test. Or wait for already started iterations to complete. I will select Wait for iterations to complete. In the next step, I will select the Think Time option. Think Time is a delay after a page is downloaded and before the subsequent page is requested. The virtual users will inject the Think Time delay to emulate time spent by a physical user on the page. This makes the load test more realistic. The available options are constant think time, recorded think time, random, or zero. I will keep the default of two seconds. Then we move to the Run the Test Confirmation screen. When you are ready to start the test, click Run the Test and the test will start. In the next video, we will review how to monitor your website performance during the test. Thank you for watching.